Hi there, William King here. In this video, I want to share you share with you the example of the drama cycle and how um, it can be running in our lives and we may not realize it. Personally, uh, I've run this uh, drama cycle for a lot of my life and it's caused me a lot of uh, stress and uh, difficulty in my life. And if you can relate in any way, I'm sure you can relate to the cycle and how it's, uh, it can kind of hold you back actually from achieving your dreams and your goals. So what the drama cycle is, is it's, there's three parties involved in all the drama cycle. It is, there's the, uh, the persecutor, the victim, and then the hero. And so let's say you're stuck in this loop of drama in your life and or seeing it all around you and getting kind of upset about it. I do this. <laughs> and so it's good to remember, it's good to realize this, right? When, you're, when you get caught in this little loop that you're creating for yourself. Um, so let's say you are feeling like a victim um, and there's, you're gonna identify that there's a persecutor, there's something going on in your life that you don't like, it's someone or something that is persecuting you, is bullying you, or causing you grief and frustration. Now, you're going to look to for support probably in someone, and they're going to be like the hero, right? So, in order to <laughs> wipe, wipe, in order to um, stop this cycle, um, it's good to remember that it, every drama there's three people: there's the victim, the persecutor and the hero and if you can recognize that at least and just become aware of it you can start to realize wait a sec i caught myself i'm going into drama again i'm uh creating this uh stress in my life and it's really me that's doing it because uh you know I, I'm, I'm creating it based on my uh my habitual thought patterns and so you can catch yourself in this and just go wait a sec I can choose to stop this, you know. You can choose to be your own hero. Um, you don't have to look t to others to be heroes for you and to, uh, you know, it's always nice when we have support, absolutely, that's great. Uh, but sometimes, you know, we're on our own and we're in a situation and we need to be our own hero and really stop playing that victim role. When we get out of that victim role, uh, we become our own hero and there's no more persecutors slash bullies. They just, they're doing their thing. You zigzag, you go the other way because uh, you just refuse to participate in these dramas anymore that uh, all these, you know, a lot of mankind is participating in dramas, whether it be wars around the world, uh, conflicts in countries, civil wars, you know, like even just personal vendettas. And, you know, I've, I've been through that myself where I, I've been in this pattern of seeing bullies my whole life and I, I was bullied when I was young and it's caused a lot of grief in my life and I still sometimes go into that pattern where I'm like, they're being a bully. But I got to realize too that, you know, the part I'm playing is I'm playing a victim. And so it's a good reminder for myself to, to stop playing that role and to get into being happy because that's where the flow is. If you want to be in a really flow state moving towards your goals and your visions for your life that you have that you're projecting forward in your life you got to really be happy now right and that starts with being aware of where you're at um, if you're playing a drama cycle stop it <laughs> i know it's easier said than done um, but uh, you can uh, stop that cycle and it might take you a long time to start to train yourself out of that and to train good habits in your life this goes back to the Back to habit building, you want to create good habits. So uh, that's a little piece of uh, uh, inspiration that I, I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed it. Give it a thumbs up or a thumbs down either or. Share a comment. Um, love to hear from you. And subscribe for more. Thanks a lot for watching. Hope you have a great day.